Hey beautiful Sagittarius, welcome back to the channel guys. I'm using a different deck today. I was called to this one. So it is the Celtic Astrology deck. So let's see what spirit wants Sagittarius to see, know, or hear. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Oh, wolf. Seahorse. Cat. Let's see. Let's look at this wolf card. That's the first card out and see what it says here. Bear with me, Sagittarius. Winter season. S keywords are secrets, truth, and persuasion. If you are born during the season of the reed, which you are, the winter, you know how to dig deep to unearth truths and hidden meanings. Getting to the heart of the matter takes intelligence, patience, and sometimes guile. Reed folk, well, that's the reeds, are good listeners and keepers of secrets. Take care also to being discreet with your own stories, your own. The reed born are drawing, drawn to gossip and scandals as much as history and legends. You are inept at coaxing people to confide in you and sometimes persuasion can turn to manipulation. Hold your ethics and honor will keep you your connections harmless. So it's telling you that the wolf is here. You're a good secret keeper. But it's oftentimes, um, that's why you end up in a lot of controversies. I'm not saying you're manipulative or you're uh, a gossiper, but you can be prone to being involved in scandals. Um, prone to people revealing your secrets. Uh, prone to, you know, be cautious who you share your information with, Sagittarius. Because there is a tendency here for you to reveal too much. You can find yourself in a lot of scandals. You can find yourself in a lot of drama. So let's see. Hmm. It's just like you're you're born into it. So and I'm not I am not picking up for Sagittarius's. Those of you that are partaking in gossip, you got to stop. Okay, it's saying those born in the sign of seahorse are flexible, resourceful, quick wit, sharp intellect. They're quick to impatience as well. Seahorse folk can be hard to follow. Their conversation darts from subject to subject and yet they possess a remarkable depth of perception. Seahorses are also lovable. It is easy to forgive them. Seahorse-born people accept you for who you are and expect the same in return. So there we have it, Sagittarius. Like, if you're a good secret keeper, Sagittarius, 
this is why you're being told to move in silence. Don't reveal all there is to know about yourself. It's here because you are born prone to being involved in scandals, being involved in drama, being involved in... It's like you expect the same from others. So if you're a good secret keeper, you assume that everybody else is good at keeping a secret, and they are not. But you are quick-witted. You're very independent here. Hang on. Those born in the sign of cat possess lightning quick intelligence, instinct, and intuition. They are the ace, the seers in the dark. Metaphorically speaking, and always finding a way through troubled times with sureness and skill, the cat guards the other world and will accompany you in your travels there. Cat people may seem aloof, but they are merely observant, silent, and mysterious. The cat hi hides its time and knows just when to pounce. So, Sagittarius, the only thing that Spirit is telling you is be careful who you reveal your information, your secrets to. Because you are of like this. You're quick-witted. You're sharp. You're witty. Um, it's like people are drawn to you. It's like it's saying you are like a guide. You are highly independent like the cat. You know exactly when to act and when to pounce and when to take action. So the only thing you got to watch, Sag, is who you reveal your information and secrets to. Not everybody is like you. It, like, people want to confide in you, Sagittarius, because you are a good secret keeper. But it's also at the same time, it's like you feel like because they shared with you that you should share something with them. And they're not all like you. They're not all great secret keepers. Which is why you often find yourself in a lot of scandals and, and, and uh, drama. And those of you that are prone to be gossiping and, and uh, about other people, that's your downfall. You're going to find yourself in drama. But it's saying you're a great secret keeper. So you're a trusted friend, a loyal companion. But it's telling you that not everybody is like you. They can't keep secrets like you. Be careful who you share your information with. That's what it's saying. Here is Swan. That is... Let's look up the swan. You have a lot of animal totems around you. Those born under the sign of swan are spiritually evolved, eloquent, and expressive. They are beautiful for its serene grace. It is fiercely territorial. Swan folk are passionate in relationships and devoted to their mates and offspring. They protect what they love. The swan born have a strong instinct when the time is right for change. When the call comes, they take to the air with no regrets. So, it's you. It's your aura. It is what you were born to be, a good secret keeper, which makes you a great high priestess, highly intuitive, 
highly lovable, highly protective, territorial. You will give the shirt off your back to help those you love and are very guarded and protected and you will fly the coop in an instant if you feel that you're trusting your instincts, which makes you controversial. Automatically, it makes you controversial. You're a great secret keeper, but the only danger is you revealing all your secrets, which makes you prone to these dramas, prone to these um, scandals, scandalous situations. Sagittarius. soul expression. You're a creator. You know, you're in the presence of the divine, the force of love and creation. It is your aura. So a lot of people like to tell secrets about you, gossip about you, put you in scandals, put you, you know, how you, you know, anytime you're in the, your ancestors are here. You have historical connections and purposes, which makes you newsworthy, <laughs> scandalous. Um, you have historical connections. It's telling you. And you have uh, greater purposes than a lot of people. This is a legacy, like I said. Hidden truths. It's like you know secrets, Saj. The unknown. Justice, harmony, and solutions are here. So you're fair, but you're heavily judged. This is all about sensitivity and strength, tapping into the forces within. You're in the presence of the divine. You have historical ancestors or connections that lead you I don't know. I just feel like because you have historical connections, historical purposes, you're always the subject of gossip. You're always the subject of scandal. You are. Sagittarius. <laughs> Expect the un unexpected. Life takes twists and turns, so hold on for the ride. The results may surprise you. Making magic, whatever you touch turns to gold. And you manifest like the powerhouse that you truly are. And you are automatically anybody who's famous, anybody who's a celebrity. Even if you're not a celebrity, you're a celebrity in your own right. You get a lot of attention because of your birth sign, how you're born. You cannot help that. Uh, you're powerful. And you have historical... Um, lineage M always making you subject of some sort of scandal some sort of gossip new world there's a whole lot of fresh opportunities waiting for you if you just take the chance
perspective. Talking to others and getting you out of your bubble will help you see things differently. Sudden strike. You get some shocking news, but not to worry. The universe is taking care of you always. Promised land. You have almost reached your goal. So don't stop now. Take every opportunity that you can. So you're very quick-witted. What you touch turns to gold. That is the Midas star. You, you set your intentions high. You, you've got access to unlimited potential with the, you do. And you may always find yourself, Sag, the, the topic of some scandal, scandalous. <laughs> I don't know. It's about you talking to others. You may become aloof, Sagittarius, because you may have found that the people you were talking to, you know, reveal your secrets. Use it for gossip. I don't know, Sag. Yeah, it's like everybody coming to you with their burdens. You know what I mean? It's like you have access to portals. You have access to, like the cat is the portal keeper. You know how the cat sits in front of the portal. That is you. You are the portal keeper. You are the keeper of hidden secrets and knowledge. This is why you're very magical. This is why you're creative. Don't be afraid, Sagittarius. Hmm. What's going on? You have the gift. You have the gift of gab. You have the Midas touch. The gift of, of opportunities. Keep your life in balance. Ah, oh, Jesus. You have unlimited potential, Saj. This is the legacy. You have the gift of empathy. You have the gift of compassion. You have the gift of gab. You have, like, what you touch turns to gold, Saj. Which makes you scandalous. Famous. You may have famous relatives. You may have famous um, historical genealogy. I don't know such. That's why people are always all up in your business. Sag, it's like... You're very wise, okay? And you know exactly when to pounce on a... An opportunity. You know exactly when to take action. You know when to take the leap of faith. And you know when not to. 
You have unlimited gifts, ideas that make you uh, famous in your own right, in the spotlight, in your own right. This has been passed down to you from historical connections or your ancestors. This is a legacy being passed down to you. That's why a lot of people are just like spying on you and snoopy about you and Like, how does Sagittarius have the secret knowledge? How does Sagittarius have this wisdom? Uh, you could be very aloof, Sag. From time to time, not always, Sag. But you know, when... To strike. You know when the opportunities are right. You know when... To take action here, Saj. You know when. So. This is your ancestors. Don't trust everybody that comes along and gives you an offer, Sagittarius. This is like naivety Sag you're assuming or in your past you could have assumed like um, everybody is like you not everybody is like you this is naivety like because you're good at keeping secrets people have no problem communicating to you, revealing their secrets to you, Saj. And then it's almost like, well, I'll tell you my secrets if you tell me your secrets, but then they, you tell them your secrets and they use that as a tool against you. You're, this is the truth. It's because of your innocence. It's because... You are like this swan. You are magical. You are... You're very dedicated to those around you, like your family, your loved ones. Like I said, you'll give the shirt off your back. You're a good lover. You are a truth teller. You know when to take action. You're a born leader. You have the gift. The gift of gab. The gift of creation. The gift of opportunities. It's like the Midas star. The, the You know, everything you touch turns to gold. Which makes people want to uh, get you to reveal your secrets. They want you to reveal to them what you know. Um, but it's your gift, Saj. Makes you, this is drama. Scandal, scandalous relationships. Scandalous um, because you're naive. Or were naive, trust, you know, trusting people you shouldn't have trusted. The Empress, I told you. Top of the food chain. You may have a royal bloodline. Or famous historical people in your ancestry. This is scandal. 
scandalous relationships, scandalous lovers. <laughs> It could be because of your gifts. Like I said, they either love you or they hate you, Sagittarius. They'll either love you or hate you. See, these people are very arrogant, Sag. Very self-interest. So it's like, they may come to you, this is the type of person that comes to you, reveals a little bit about themselves, reveals a little bit about themselves. Because you're good with the gift of gab, you want to create, uh, you know, get people to open up about themselves. But then they turn around and use that against you. Sag, you're very patient. You're very balanced. You know, you could have found yourself getting involved with people who were really scandalous. I, I, I don't know. Or they turned it into one. Because you're trusting, Sag. Because you're a, a truth teller. You are... Great with the gift of gab. So people come to you, they, they're getting information out of you. And then they use it against you. I said, they either hate you, or they love you. But you will defend and stand up for your rights and the rights of others, especially those you care about, Saj, which makes you, I don't know, it makes you scandalous. I said, you're the Midas star. Everything you touch turns to gold. You're in the spotlight. You're famous. You're a celebrity. You're of celebrity ancestry. I don't know, but you were meant to shine. You were meant to be in the spotlight. You were meant for this legacy. You were born for this. And people are jealous and they hate you. So they're always trying to find scandalous things about you. Like, a lot of you are famous. Just saying. Uh, a lot of you are famous in your own right. Now, you may not be on stage and you might not be a celebrity. But you are in your own life. This is your karma. You're born this way. You were born to shine, born to be famous. It's in your genes, it's in your ancestry, it's in your, you're born to shine. And you know when to fly the coop. You know when to walk away. And then behind your back, people gossip. People get together, gossip, talk about you, Create drama for you. Oh, shit. This could even be family. Judgment. You could be different than anyone in your family. You could be so much different than anybody else in your family. It's like you're heavily judged. <laughs> oh my God, Sagittarius is so dramatic. Oh my God, Sagittarius has had so much drama in their life, but they don't understand. 
This is your legacy. They don't understand. You know something I want to say? You may have taken one for the entire team here with your family. Like a lot of people, friends, lovers, family members, probably of all betrayed you. And then they turn around, they make scandal for you. And then they turn around and they say, oh God, Sagittarius has got so much drama filled life. Sag's life, yeah, but look at the payoff. That's the part they didn't understand. Look at the payoff. It's like you've taken one for the, the team. You may have taken on a generational curse from your family. You may have been reincarnated for that purpose. And these are the same people because why? Why would you be the one? You could be the only one different in your family. I swear to God. You could be the only one different, separated, like you could have been the Cinderella. You know, um, things being made harder for you, things pushed upon you, uh, up against a lot of judgment, up against a lot of gossip, up, up against a lot of hatred hate you. They hate you. Why? Because, yeah, like, everything you touch turns to gold. They hate you because of who you are. They hate you because of who you are. You are the Empress energy. If you are the masculine, it you are hated for the same reason. Just because the Empress shows up, it doesn't mean it's a feminine or a masculine. It means you're fruitful. It means you bear fruits. And it's almost like since the day you were born, you were hated. You probably were hated before you got here. Yet, what they don't understand is you have bared the burden of their, um, whatever they have done. You, you were taking on the burden of that. This is weird. It's their own insecurities. Because spirit loves you. Has blessed you with abundance for all the judgments that you have undergone. Maybe you beat a generational curse. Maybe you, like I said, you I got hiccups. You might have taken one on for the team. You may have remained silent. You may have gone silent. You may have gone you know, within. At a very young age, you could have withdrawn, been very withdrawn. But nobody knew what was going on behind the scenes, how you were hated, judged. Aloof, learn to become aloof. But any internalizer, any introvert goes within. You went within at a very young age, Sagittarius. You went within. You could have been an extrovert. And then also at the same time, being an introvert. Knowing exactly when to get out of a situation, when to act on an opportunity. It's like you've learned this. You could have been born this way. 
or it's learned. It's because you were judged for your magic. The ability to manifest, having all the tools to manifest. That's why people try to shame you, embarrass you, publicly humiliate you. You, you could have been the reject, <laughs> the black sheep. Black sheeps usually are that way. A lot of people, oh, I'm too embarrassed to be around Sagittarius. I, you know, I wouldn't be friends with Sag. I wouldn't be in a relationship with Sag. I wouldn't do this. It's like, what you get, you know, were you the... The black sheep. Taking one on for the team. Keeping it to yourself. Bearing burdens of other people while they judged you. People turn their back on you. Oh my God, this is too embarrassing. I'm too embarrassed to be with Satch. I'm too embarrassed. They're, you know, oh my God, oh my God, don't be around Satch. Here you are, the cat. See, that's the Nine of Pentacles. Independent. The portal keeper. That's the portal keeper, man. Anything you ask for, you can manifest. Anything you ask for, you will receive. It's like being blessed for bearing the burdens of others. Being, you may have beat, or, um, changed, um, you may have changed uh, ancestral patterns. You may have broken generational curses, taken on generational curses to save your family. You could have bared the burden of like an entire family, your lovers, your friends. Jesus, Saj. Here, I get gossiped about Sagittarius. People. Revealing your secrets and betraying you with the information they have learned about you. Unexpected. Shit. You're very protective, Sagittarius, of those that are around you. People gossiping about you, people gossiping about what you do, gossiping about your recovery. How did you survive? Uh, how did you survive all this gossip? How did you survive all this pain? How did you survive all this suffering? The Midas Star. Everything you touch turns to gold. You're gifted, Sagittarius. You're the swan. You are dedicated. You are loyal to those you love. You are, you would. God. Dedicated, loyal. That's the swan. That's what it said.
the I don't want to use the word victim, but sad you've been through it. You will go on the attack. Somebody tries to harm people you care about. You will go on the attack. You will attack, Sag, to defend your home, those you love, those you care about. Because said, you have carried the damn burdens of other people, Sag. Holy Jesus. You're the portal keeper. Fiercely protecting those you care about, you will be the defender of your home, the defender of your family, the defender of friends, the defender of lovers, the defender of those you love. And somebody turned around and frickin' betrayed this. Midas touch. So you have a family, you have someone who you um, really are protecting right now. This is whether you're the masculine or whether you're the feminine. You've passed down that, if you have children, you've passed that down to your kids as well. They're the same. Fair. Balanced. Just. The secret keeper. It's been passed down to you. This high priestess energy, I knew that that was going to come out. That is a secret keeper. You're fair, you're balanced, you're just, you're truthful, and you've been hated for your truth, and you've been hated for who you are. Holy crap. And you've passed that down to your, if you have children, you're passing that down to your children. They have the same gifts. So a lot of people reject you, Saj. I told you, Sagittarius, you know when to reject people. You know when. This is someone aloof. This is a victory. This is someone they may have done everything in their power to reject you, abandon you, slander you, railroad you, expose you, expose your secrets, expose, you know, just to find dirt on you. But you're, you're born to be in the spotlight. This is fame, fortune, But there are certain individuals around you who admire you, who respect you. Love you. Would be proud to work with you. Would be proud to work with you.
You got someone famous. You had someone famous. I don't know. Someone in your family also had these gifts, Sagittarius. Someone in your family also has these gifts. Your children, if you have children, they got these gifts. They have the same legacy. I don't care what kind of zodiac sign they are. If you have children, they also have these gifts. So your children are prone to the same bullshit. Scandal. Anybody who's a psychic, anybody who's a medium, Jesus, hang on here, Sagittarius. Hang on. That's why you've had That's why you've had uh, people in your life that have been trying to steal your knowledge, your secrets, your getting you to confide in them and then using that to betray you with. Someone who's really, really, really uh, 
Jesus, Saji, you've been through a lot. Somebody has betrayed you, Saj. Lots of people. They took your secrets and betrayed you with them. They made up lies about you, Saj. People making up lies about you. It's because of your gifts. It's because they do not possess those gifts. You and your children do possess those gifts. If you have children, they got them. You have historical ancestors. There could have been a lot of scandal. It's because of these gifts. You are the secret keeper. That's the gifts of hidden knowledge, hidden wisdom. Strong intuition. People have been out to, to get you since before you were born. Not because you were weak, Sagittarius, but because of your strength. So like, say you have a big family. You were the one born this way. Because you were the one who... was the one trusted with these gifts. You have it strong and so do your children. If you have children. You have almost reached your goal, so don't stop now. Take every opportunity that you can. You get some shocking news, but not to worry. The universe is looking after you and taking care of you always. Some kind of scandal. It could be because people find out what you're doing. It could be because people are finding out who you are. The scandal could be about people discovering who you truly are. And they've been shitting on you all these years. You know what I'm saying?
it could cause a scandal. They'd be like, oh my God, look what Sagittarius is doing. <laughs> oh my God, Sag is on it again. <laughs> it is gossip. Take care.